Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Do you limit plant foods due to the presence of carbohydrates and sugar? Or are plant foods a large part of your diet due to its many nutrients, including phytochemicals? In this video, I'll share the difference between phytochemicals and vitamins and minerals. What are phytochemicals? The estimated number, some potentially powerful phytochemicals, and phytochemicals and low-carb diets. Most people know plant foods are an excellent source of fiber and essential vitamins and minerals. They provide energy, soluble and insoluble fiber, macronutrients, and micronutrients. Included in the micronutrients are phytochemicals. Phytochemical literally means plant chemical. They are nutrients found only in plant foods. Phytochemicals are also known as phytonutrients. They are provided only by plants and are not found in fats or protein. Scientists estimate there are more than 5,000 phytochemicals. Only a few are currently available as dietary supplements. The best source of phytochemicals is eating a wide variety of plant foods. What are phytochemicals? They're chemical compounds found in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, seeds, and nuts. They contribute to a plant's color, aroma, and taste. They give carrots and sweet potatoes their bright orange color. They give Brussels sprouts, rapina, and other leafy greens their bitter taste. And they give hot peppers their heat. Regardless of internet hype, Currently, very little is actually known about the effects of phytochemicals on human health. What the evidence shows is eating a diverse plant-based diet provides a wider variety of phytochemicals. Research indicates people eating diets high in plant foods have fewer diseases. It appears phytochemicals in plant foods provide protection against cancer, diabetes, aging, asthma, infections, hypertension, and cardiovascular disease. It's one reason why most superfood lists are mainly plant foods. Vegans and people on high plant-based diets consume the widest variety of phytochemicals. A low-fat diet may eliminate high-fat nuts and seeds. Low-carb and keto diets eliminate most phytochemical-rich foods. Three of the most studied phytochemicals include lycopene, carotenoids, and flavonoids. While the evidence indicating significant health benefits for humans is promising, it is not yet conclusive. While some mice on a plant-rich diet may turn into super mice, it doesn't mean you'll become a superhuman by eating a high plant food diet. Current research indicates there are potentially powerful health benefits. Carotenoids are usually associated with yellow and orange plant foods, but they're also found in foods that are red and green, like broccoli and watermelon. They appear to boost immunity, fight cancer, and reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Flavonoids associated with chocolate are found in a wide variety of foods and appear to be anti-inflammatory and fight tumor growth. Antocyanins in berries and red wine appear to lower blood pressure. Resveratrol, associated primarily with grapes and red wine, is also found in peanuts and dark chocolate and appears to increase longevity. Grapes, red wine, apples, and cocoa also contain proanthocyanidins that appear to reduce blood pressure and increase artery lining function. Sulfides and thiols found in onions, garlic, leeks, olives, and scallions appear to decrease LDL cholesterol. Isothiocyanates found in leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables appear to be anti-cancer and reduce cardiovascular disease. Quercetin found in apples, onions, and citrus fruit appears to be an anti-inflammatory and also decrease blood pressure. Terpenes found in cherries and citrus fruit appear to be anti-cancer and antivirus. Lutein and zeaxanthin are found primarily in leafy green vegetables. 
they may benefit eye health. Low-carb diets have been promoted for decades. Like phytochemicals, carbohydrates come from plant foods. High-fat and protein diets are low-phytochemical diets. Any potential health benefits are reduced or eliminated when eating a high-fat or protein diet. Most studies indicate people on high-fat and protein diets have a higher risk of cancer, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. What should you do? First, ignore the hysterical internet hype about deadly fruits and vegetables. Unless your diet is high in hemlock, poisonous mushrooms, and other poisonous plants. Regardless what celebrity diet experts claim, there is no evidence anyone became diabetic, overweight, or obese by eating too many fruits and vegetables. Most diabetics can eat fruit like bananas without raising their blood sugar. In most cases, the problem is not a diet high in fruits and vegetables, but a diet high in added sugars. Your doctor can check for vitamin and mineral deficiencies, but currently there are no lab tests for phytochemical deficiencies. There are also no recommended dietary allowances for phytochemicals. Like vitamins and minerals, research shows foods are the best source of phytochemicals. While cooking destroys some phytochemicals, there are exceptions. Cooked tomatoes provide more lycopene than raw tomatoes. To obtain potential health benefits, eat a diverse diet that includes a wide variety of colorful fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.